What's going on, guys? Brian Rabbit here. Today, uh, a lot of you are probably receiving or have just gotten your brand new Xbox 4 or Xbox Series X slash S. And uh, messing around with it a little bit, maybe you're confused by a couple of things. I got three quick tips that I've found over the past 24 hours or so that have actually really helped me out. So we're going to start off with how do you find the games that are actually like compatible with the Xbox Series X or S? What are the upgraded games? And that's actually pretty easy. All we're going to do is go down to here to store. We're going to open that up and we're going to scroll down and over to optimize for Xbox Series X and S. And here you have it. These are all the games that are actually compatible or upgraded for the Series X and S or the Xbox 4. Uh, and what's really convenient is it actually shows you the games that have Game Pass support. So uh, let's say you want to get Sea of Thieves. Uh, that's got game support, so it'll just bring you to it, and you can install it and get going. While Sea of Thieves is installing, I wanted to go on to tip number two, and that is about download speed. So apparently this is true with the Xbox One as well, but if you have a game running, your download speeds are actually throttled while you're trying to download a new game. So if I go in and look at Sea of Thieves, you can see that I'm downloading at about 19, 18, 21 megabits per second. I can actually speed that up significantly by bringing up the game I'm playing, which is Destiny 2, and quitting it out. So once I've done that, if I go back into Sea of Thieves, my download speed jumps up dramatically. I'm already at 105, 134, 156, and I've seen this hit 400, 450 uh, if your network connection can handle it. So if you want to download something really fast, make sure that you don't have a game running. Otherwise, your download speeds are significantly uh, throttled. One last tip has to do with the controller and headset. So... Uh, just like the Xbox One controller, uh, there is a headset port right on the controller itself, which is super convenient. And you can get chat and game sound through that. Uh, it's not the best experience, but it definitely works until you upgrade to something a little better. Uh, one thing to be aware of, though, is to fine-tune the amount of game sound while you're chatting. Uh, is actually found here. If you go to Settings, General, volume and audio output, and then chat mixer. You can actually change this to do nothing, reduce the volume of other sounds by 50%, 80%, or completely mute everything while somebody's chatting, which is pretty convenient. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips were helpful. Uh, if you got any other tips that can be shared with new Xbox 4 owners, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.